Hey friends and family, Kev from Diary of a Chubby Yogi uh, here from the Pavilion in Bromley, London, UK. Uh, got a little bit of a creative flow for you today, so grab your mat and uh, get on some comfy clothes and come and join us. Once you've got your mat out, let's come up onto all fours and uh, open up the knees nice and wide. Sink the bum down towards the heels and we're going to start out in an extended child's pose today. Drop the head down, tuck the chin in and take a few nice deep breaths. Allow yourself some space just to forget the outside world. And be here for the practice of yoga. Now's not the time for making lists. Now's not the time for wondering about the past or the future. Just find a little bit of space and be here now. And as you root it down, maybe put the hands into the mat, roll the shoulders back, lift the head up, give yourself a nice big stretch, curve the spine, roll the shoulders around as we pick ourselves up into a tabletop position. Place the hands underneath the shoulders, hip width distance apart. The tops of the feet into the mat and the knees. And also hip width distance apart. Did I say hands hip width distance apart? What an idiot. <laughs> Pull the navel in to make sure we're nice and long. Maybe give the tail a bit of a shake. And start off with a few cat cows. Drop the belly down, roll through the shoulders, shine the chest forward. Exhale, tuck the tailbone in, roll the spine, push it out. Inhale, tailbone comes up, belly drops down, roll forward, look up towards the sky. Exhale, pull that in. And we do the cat cows to help warm up the spine, get that synovial fluid going. Just to warm up with the hips and warm up with the shoulders to make sure we're feeling good. Maybe give the tail a bit of a shake. If the wrists are a bit sore, just take a little bit of time, press them together, roll them back. Maybe put the hands together, open them like a book, roll the back of the hands together and stretch out. Come back, roll the shoulders. Make sure that you're ready for motion. I'm gonna bring the left hand to the center of the mat. Inhale, open up the chest towards the right, raise the right hand up towards the sky. Exhale, come back to all fours. Right hand to the center, open up towards the left. Exhale, back down again. Inhale, open to the right. Exhale, down. Pulling the navel in, we start that twist nice and low. We can push through the hands and roll through the shoulders. Think about three or five times on each side. Push down with the hands and twist. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Ah, take another cat cow, drop the belly down, look forward. Exhale, pull the navel in. Inhale down. And exhale, round the spine, push out like a Halloween cat. Coming back to center. Take a nice deep breath, breath, breathe, breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. We're gonna push the right leg back and out. Keep the toes to the ground, pull the navel in to make sure the spine is long. Keep the navel in. Start to push out with that right heel so we can raise the right knee off the ground so we're nice and long. And then exhale, bring the right knee into the chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. 
Inhale, lengthen, nice and long. Point the toe out this time and drop the toe down towards the ground. We'll walk the left hand into the center of the mat, push with that. And once again, we peel ourselves open up to the right. Finding our supported side plank. Roll the shoulders back and down, give the body some length. And exhale, twist open just a little bit further. One more breath here, inhale and exhale. If this is already a challenge for you, stay here for another two breaths. Otherwise, we're going to slide the right leg, or sorry, the left leg underneath the right to find a full plank. Inhale, hold yourself up and exhale, roll the shoulders away from the ears. If you're up for the challenge, root down with the left foot and pick up the right heel. Two breaths here, and lower down, bringing yourself back to all fours. Inhale down, and exhale, cat cow. Inhale, and exhale. I'm just going to turn around for the camera's sake, because this time we're going to push out the left leg, toes to the ground, pull the navel in and lengthen. Exhale, bring it in, curve. Curve and curl. Inhale, lengthen, push the heel out. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, out, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, push the toe out, we're nice and long. Then lower the toe down. This time the right hand comes to the center of the mat. We roll open and over. And take the gaze up towards the thumb. Pull the navel in and lengthen. And exhale, twist. I can feel I'm a little shaky on this side today. And it's funny how when we go through the practice, how one side feels stronger than the other. But accept where you are today and just be there. But if you're feeling strong, right leg slides out. Side plank, inhale. And exhale, and if you're feeling dangerous, let's pick up the left leg. <sighs> Two breaths, ah, <clears throat> there I go. See, it doesn't matter if you fall. It's all about getting back up again. Let's take a few cat cows, drop the belly down, shake the tail, exhale, push it out. Inhale, drop the belly down, and exhale. Left hand comes to the center of the mat. Inhale, twist yourself open. And then engaging the core here, we're going to lift ourselves up and spiral up with the right hand coming down to the right heel and the left hand coming up and over. We open up the front of the body. If you have a full camel, feel free to go into that, dropping the left hand down. But otherwise, just reach up and over as we open up the front of the body. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, roll the shoulders away from the ears. One more, inhale. And exhale, bring both hands back down. Cat cow. Inhale, belly down. Exhale, curve. Inhale, belly down. Exhale, curve. Right hand to the center. Inhale, we twist open. Engage the core, pull it in. And then exhale, raise ourselves up and over. Left hand to left heel and we open up the chest to the sky. Roll the shoulders back and lengthen. And if you're feeling saucy, take the right hand down to the right heel. For me, I'm not feeling that today. I just feel like reaching out and lengthening out the front of my body. Shoulders away from the ears. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, bring both hands up and over. To all fours, cat cow, belly down, open up and exhale in. Belly down, open up and exhale in. Let's tuck the toes under, raise the tailbone up, downward facing dog. Pull the navel in, come up onto the tippy toes and then exhale, push backwards with the hands, lowering the heels down. Put up a bit of a bend in the elbows. Lengthen the neck, take the shoulders away from the ears, breathe deeply. One more breath here. And bending both of the knees. 
Let's take one big jump up to the front of the mat. Plant the feet down, come up halfway, pull the navel in and lengthen the spine. Navel in, thighs engaged, like you're resting a teacup on the back of your neck. Thank you, yoga with Adrian. <laughs> Exhale, bend the knees and inhale, sweep the hands up towards the sky, palms meet. Exhale, lower the prayer down in front of the heart center. Take a nice deep breath here, inhale and exhale. And that's my little creative flow. Uh, it's good for a warm up. It's good to uh, just kind of check in with the spine. Uh, if you need a little bit of time to play, good fun. It shouldn't be that long. I reckon it was probably, what, about eight minutes or so. So don't be scared. It's not that hard. Get onto the mat. Obviously, work within your limits. Feel what feels good within your own body. Don't push yourself and uh, you know, be kind to yourself and have a great day. Mm -hmm.